Live from Shadow Mirror Studios, this is the Talkie Box Podcast. Tastes so good, cats ask for it by name. Mm-mm-mm. Indeed. Yep. Ha! <laughs> I've got nothing for that. Of course you don't. No one has anything to do with things I said. Uh, I'm your host, Dave, and with me tonight we have Kate. Hi, I'm Kate. Uh, one of our regulars. But then we have two brand new faces to the show. We have Jackie, who's helped out before, just not on camera, and Brander. Thank you, thank you. There's also an audio podcast to this, so you might need to actually say something. Uh, 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 that's me! <laughs> that is Jackie. Um, so, in... Uh, Talkie box fashion, when you're new on the show, you have to tell your life story. So, who wants to start? You go ahead. Shut up. Ladies first. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's yes, see what I got ahead. here. So, you know, I'm dope and I do dope shit. Um, All right, Kanye. You know, yeah. <laughs> talker from TV, actually. Oh <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, you know, high school, that whole thing. Did Army after that. Are you from Georgia originally? Uh, born in Texas. Okay. Swung through Chicago when I was a little kid. Yeah. Um, well, you know, last year in Chicago, big blizzard, mm -hmm. built snow tunnels, built the, built the snowman, the whole nine yards. Yeah. First year in Georgia, me and my brother are getting out of school cause it's about a snow and there's going to be like a big blizzard. We're super excited. Like, oh my God, if we're getting out of school, this is going to be so much snow. This is right. like, this is massive. <laughs> we get it home. Like we're waiting all day, watching the window, like a couple inches let down. We're like, all right, any minute now it's coming. All, yeah. all the other kids are up playing. We're like, let's just go hang out with the other kids and like wait for the snow. Like, oh man, guys, it's gonna snow real big. Like, I know, look at it. Look at all the snow. We're like, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, did that. Um, went, you know, did the whole military thing, was in the military four years, a mm. uh, couple rounds of the 101st overseas. And then from there, went to Valdosta for school, uh, came home, worked uh, restaurant jobs for a little while, and then uh, doing a bunch of really sweet insurance stuff now. Yeah. Similar to yourself, I believe. Yeah, same as me. Yeah, you used to be my boss at one point. Yeah, so uh, that that uh, did happen. Uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> used to be my boss at one point. Yeah. I try uh, back hmm. back in some of those restaurant days before we got our sweet insurance jobs. You were, <laughs> I had to like at least act like I paid attention to what you were telling me to do. I never got to boss me around. <laughs> it's a good thing you did because I really wasn't saying. Much. He never really, <laughs> he really never bossed anyone around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do have fun. <sighs> yeah, Jackie. Uh, military kid, so I moved around a lot, mm -hmm. been to Germany, saw all the cool countries and things over there, uh, New Jersey, Oklahoma, don't go there if you can, if you can avoid it, don't. To New don't. Jersey, Oklahoma? Oklahoma. <laughs> New Jersey's alright, just, just stay in southern <laughs> Jersey and you're gonna be good. Uh, maybe go to Philly just for the concerts, occasionally. And uh, the food. And the food, yes. Some sandwiches, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what they're called, though, it's like, uh... Something cheesesteak? Pittsburgh cheesesteak, I think. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Sounds about right. Uh, now I'm down here. Oh, Florida, of course. That one, too. Uh, they're crazy, but they're nice. Just don't touch the alligators. Unless it's a pet. If you see the collar, then you're fine. <laughs> um, now I live in Georgia. Also doing the restaurant game. Not out of that yet. Also, no college. Not yet. Just, you know, let We're you know what's ahead of you as soon as you get a restaurant mm -hmm. Insurance is always there. I guess yeah. so. It seems to be my next all roads, step. All roads lead to insurance somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie, we got this. Yeah. Um, what about some of your hobbies? Actually, Jackie does a lot of our, our illustrations. That's true. Yes. So I do the art thing. Hopefully. Jackie, Jackie and Jeremy Adam also does a little bit of it. But, you know, Jackie did the, what, Rosie, the, the robot that we had, or the, the several robots we had up there. Yep. And then the seven now, robots. Now Deadpool. Also, I don't know what several means. I yeah, it means seven. Jackie keeps saying that several means seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's a specific amount that is seven. It's more than Nothing. three or four. Nope. Because a few seven. is three or four, and several is more than that. I deny this. Okay. <laughs> and then many is more than several, I think? Or is sure. many the same as several? I don't know. I mean, if you go by and Which one comes beyond first, though? seven. I'm not a linguist. What about really. several many? <laughs> What are we doing Ooh, with that? God. Does yeah. that mean there's a lot of seven? I think that's in the yeah, team it's a somewhere. lot of that's like fourteen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or would that be a couple severals? I don't know. Yeah. All right. I think you get like four or five minis into a several. Hmm. 
several well, many. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's four, so five several's into maybe a many. Maybe several many's is just seven many's, but we haven't established what many's is. So. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Riveting. Yeah, this is great stuff. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> speaking of uh, of Deadpool here, Deadpool 2. Absolutely. Came out recently and was awesome. Fantastic. Far um, better than the first. What's that? So I think far better than the first. Really? I, yeah, I, I felt the yeah? same way. No? I thought it was about the same as the first. Okay. I, I like both of them equally. I think both of them They're, were good. For sure. They had their different tones, certainly. And I don't, like, it's still in theaters, so I don't want to spoil too much, but like... It's, you know, the the first, like they say in the beginning of the movie, this is a family movie, and it kind mm-hmm. of is. Yeah, um, actually, yeah, surprisingly. Yeah. It turns out, yeah, it turns that It's still an R-rated superhero movie that happens to also be a family movie. I, mean, I, would, I would just wait till your kids grew up a little bit. No, nope, my parents then. did not wait. My <laughs> brother is eight, eight years old, and they went to go see nice. that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I mean, we Raising the three of us went and saw it, and we, mm-hmm. like, we saw a child yeah. In the, young, in the yeah. movie, like it's the dad and his child, and the child was like six. Yeah, that was a young end. He's a little. Yeah, he's a little. But one. they probably so they'll block that out. That's like a good dad, though. <laughs> like, you know, like he's like the, that's the dad that like sneaks like the uh, like the R-rated movie. Right. Movie. Like mom's not out, just watch whatever. Fine. That's the one. that's like I'd rather you smoke weed in the house. Yeah. Do it in a safe environment. <laughs> I'm yeah. not a regular dad. I'm a cool dad. <laughs> yeah. Anyone? I'm a cool mom. <laughs> yeah. But. It was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. It's not as good as Avengers, I don't think, no. but it was still no, it was still really awesome. good. It's definitely so, worth. Speaking of all that, like I know there were talks for a while about um, Disney acquiring uh, 20th Century Fox, and so they could get Deadpool and X Men mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Apparently, that deal is not in stone, and like it's there's a chance that might not go through now. <sighs> See, that's terrible because uh, no. I, I mean, need that Deadpool merch. Apparently, Comcast mm-hmm. is trying to buy Fox in order to. See, yeah. just overall the shittiest company with some cool stuff. Mm. See, um, as, a, as a huge X-Men fan, that's like the worst thing I could hear. I yeah. Because, man, yeah, as, as much as I've done to save, I guess, the X-Men movies a little bit mm-hmm. in the last couple of rounds, like, it's still not what I grew up with. It's still not like, right. that Marvel product. They're still doing, they're, they're making a lot of changes to the X-Men movies. Mm-hmm. And they've always done that. Yeah. Like, from the beginning, back in 2000, when the first one came out. Um, and... I didn't hate them all, but like, there there's some stuff where they changed. And like, there was no need to change that. You could yeah. have left it. You could have made it just like it. You know, we all envisioned it to be. And then, they, yeah. well, I think you know. I think the problem runs into is it's almost the same time thing they have with DC is they have great stories, but then when they make the movie, they don't use those stories they have. You know, they have yeah. they've built up all these fantastic stories that have brought all these readers in for all these years, mm-hmm. and then now you're sitting there. And hey, all right, what am I? What am I going to do through this movie? Well, let's throw everything out. Let's just take the characters. We'll mix in something new. We'll make it. You know, we'll make it our own. Right. Our I own can't even watch story. DC comics. They're yeah. the movies anymore. I just can't. Like yeah. after Batman versus Superman, I'm so disappointed in the movies that they've been making that I'm just I refuse I to watch. But you haven't left. seen Wonder Woman yet. I and, want to watch that. That's oh. probably the and only from one. From all that the I ones will. I've seen, that's the one redeeming factor they have. Is Wonder Woman was a fantastic mm-hmm. movie. It was it's very just, well done. But she can't hold up all of the DC universe. No, that's. No. Yeah. <laughs> Even on her strong shoulders. Mm-hmm. I feel like, too, with DC, a lot of their movies are just trailers for bigger things to come, but you're never getting that payoff. Like, oh, <laughs> if you just wait, if you just wait, this will all make sense. And right. then you get Justice League, which is a total flop. And I still was... haven't even seen it. Uh, I refuse. It's... It tries to do too much. It's all the same with most DC movies. They try yeah. to do too much. Let's yeah. just do everything. Let's put everybody in there. Let's give everybody a cameo. Yeah. Kind of I actually like saw the... something run out of story. I saw something today, and it was like, you know the what I what I deserved from a Batman was like the the Arkham video games. Yeah. And what I got was like, you know, murderous Batman in Batman Superman, and then like comic relief Batman <laughs> yeah. in Justice League. Apparently. Um, no, so, he's comic relief. That's what that's what it said on the thing that I was reading. I can't stand that. No, but, no. He's supposed to be dark and broody. His parents died. <laughs> And that's kind of no, what you've come to expect from DC no in general is those darker storylines. Yeah. Except they just, you know, they're putting all this grit and no plot. Yeah. And no yeah. no writing and no acting in certain sense, you know, circumstances. Yeah. And when we, you know, they can always squeeze in some more, uh, yeah. what's her name? Superman's girl. Lois Lane? Yeah. Well, they always find a way to squeeze her. Right. A little bit, you know, let's just give her another, like, three or four scenes that she doesn't yeah. need. And I don't want to shit on DC because yeah. they've got great characters and great stories. They're just not utilizing them right. Exactly. Yeah. But even like I think if you even look at some of their shows on TV, like or Netflix and mm. stuff like that, some of those turned out really well. Yeah. 
but then you like and you look at the books and it's like man there's some really solid story writing there's some really yeah. solid you know work here they just haven't decided to move any of that into the screen world. Right. I'm pretty sure there was an up, another episode where you and Jason were discussing that maybe if they did make uh, full-fledged shows for maybe those main characters, yeah. Yeah. you'd be able to have more of a story because then you'd have multiple episodes where people could binge watch it and it wouldn't be all tight. We'd have all that development that we needed. And that's like, I'm actually a big fan of the Arrowverse stuff, like mm-hmm. Arrow, The Flash... Um, to a lesser extent, Supergirl and yeah. Legend of Tomorrow. And uh, especially with Arrow and the Flash, I think they've done a great job. Yeah. It, it, they do have, especially with Flash, it's like a family drama kind of thing. Well, but definitely... it's still great writing and great action and great yeah. effects. And, and they do a great job. And then you look at like these big budget movies, and like, this is, Where is nowhere it? near as good. <laughs> well, I think they actually really capture like the Flash in that show. Like, they yeah. really capture, like, he's kind of like art and goofy, like, Trying to figure it all out, like his his like world between you know his detective life and yeah. it, I guess his forensics life rather, right? And his, and his superhero yeah. and where does that fit? Same with the Arrow, you know. Hey, you know they do a really great job of capturing that kind of like gritty, yeah, gritty scene for you. But the movies, I don't think they really capture. Well, and and on the flip side, you look at the uh, the Avengers that just dropped, and that gave me everything I wanted. Right. Oh, yeah. And a little bit more. Yeah. Like stuff I didn't even know I wanted. I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know I wanted this. I might not. <laughs> I might not, but. Yeah. Damn, that's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's been made clear multiple times that Talkie Box really loves the Marvel movies. The MCU. And, just a little. Yeah. Mm. They just do such a good job. Yeah. So proud of yeah. them. Also, coming up is uh, in the next couple weeks, E3. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which uh, we still have not been invited to. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to buy tickets. I don't know how it works. Guests deserve tickets as well. If you're watching, <laughs> you know, you know, lost in the mail. that's probably what it was. Yeah, Our you know, E3 we actually, forgive you. E3 right. took place in Atlanta for a couple of years. Um, Didn't know that, back in like actually. ninety-seven, ninety-eight, or something like that. I found that out today. Um, but it's usually in LA, which I've never been to. I've heard it's. I've heard it's a great town and a shithole. I am particularly excited for E3 this year because they are releasing some more content for um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Okay. Yeah. Which, um, for those who are unfamiliar, it is the third installment in the revamped Tomb Raider's Origins trilogy. Mm-hmm. It looks pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've only played the first one. I've seen you playing the second the one. second one. And mm-hmm. it looks like... It looks like they added so much to the second one from from the first one, and I, and I have to imagine if they're keeping it with that trend that the third one's going to be amazing. Mm-hmm. 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 They said this is going to be um, their biggest mm-hmm. hub arena, so there's going to be um, larger maps, which obviously means more tombs, more relics, a lot of things to explore. Yeah. Um, supposedly there's going to be more characters to interact with, which they hint on in Rise of the Tomb Raider. I mean, as you know... In the first one, you don't really have any allies. Yeah. You hardly interact with anyone outside of your enemies. My, my one complaint about the first one was that it was... And it's not really a complaint. It's just the, the way they set the story up was, was sort of linear. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a lot of, like, you know, exploring, going around. You could explore, like, these small areas, but then you, you knew you had to move on to this part, explore this small area, and then move mm-hmm. on. This. It wasn't like, I can go anywhere. But it seems like with the one that I've seen you playing, it's a little bit more open than that. It is, and there's more um, quests and side quests and things that you can do and different options you have to mm. kind of reward you. Now, they're very, very difficult. Yeah. That is one thing. They, they give you a lot of options in Rise of the Tomb Ra- Raider, but you very much have to work for those bonuses you're getting. It is gritty. Yeah. It is awful. Um, and it looks like Shadow of the Tomb Raider is kind of going to expand upon that, so you have more interactions and more opportunities, but they have said it's going to be the most difficult um, game in the series so far. However, mm-hmm. you will apparently be a little bit more equipped because at this point, you know, Lara Croft is an amateur. She's she's seen some stuff. Right. She's you know kicking ass, taking names. She's kind of a pro. Yeah. So hopefully, um, we'll really get some more some more content there because. Cool. <laughs> yeah. She definitely really... has the grittiest deaths of any game I've yeah, ever seen. Yeah, of any <laughs> game. You've, you've, you've seen in the first one. She just gets like impaled. Oh yeah. Left and right. Like I, re- I remember just seeing the the mm-hmm. the kind of preview stuff from the very first of the of the reboot uh, Tomb Raider games, and you're like, she gets the crap kicked out of her. Yeah, <laughs> she it's really a, it's just dirty and bloody and scarred and bruised and everything. And and I played it and I was like, yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, that's happening. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, I think it's 10, 15 minutes into gameplay, you get mauled by a bear. So that's, you know. Oh. Mm hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's another thing. Hopefully they'll have more animals. So one big complaint from a lot of players is the wolves, which take mm. place in the first game and the second game. Yeah. And they get a, you get a little bit of variety in the second game. You have a, the bears and the leopards. But I'm really getting tired of these fucking wolves and their respawn rate <laughs> in the second game. You'll think you cleared a whole map, and then you'll have to come back because, uh, especially in the second game, there's certain things and doors you can't open until you have gear that you get in another right. level. Yeah. And all the wolves respawn, and you think you're safe, and you go to this cave, and nope, you get mauled by a fucking wolf. There's like five of them. No big deal. So, you know, I understand that I'm going to be mauled and ravaged by animals, but, like, let's, let's, I've had yeah. enough of the wolves. Let's, let's move on. Uh, eventually you feel like these wolves should be extinct. Yeah. From all the ones that you've had to take out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, throw in um, some spiders. I need some spiders. Zombie spiders? I mean, giant ooh. spiders. That's that's like mm. a staple, I think, for video games. Like, if you don't have giant spiders somewhere yeah. in your game... <laughs> yeah, you you're doing out. it wrong. You're, yeah, you're doing and it. bats. Yeah, or bats. Bats just attacking your head yeah. all the time. Well, this one's a new arena, too. It's apparently the jungle. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like there's some kind of Aztec vibe going on, too. Mm. So maybe, like, um, a South American jungle yeah. would be my guess. Maybe Amazon, so or... Maybe we'll have giant spiders or snakes. Ooh, Anything but the wolves. Ooh, I would love to see a fight with giant snake. Yes. Yeah. Like she just devastates a giant fucking anaconda. Yeah, that I anaconda don't, don't want none. <laughs> oh. Unless you've got buns, hon. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Now you were also wanting to talk about uh, the Harry Potter, right? The Harry Potter game. Yeah. Yeah. So Dave and I downloaded the new, what is it? A Hogwarts Mystery? I don't Mystery? remember because I haven't played it in a while. A Hogwarts Mystery. Um, so it is a phone game that you can download via yeah. Google Play or Apple. The, the Apple Store. The Apple Store. Ooh, we're having trouble remembering <laughs> things yeah. tonight. That's the one on your phone. I know, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, not sponsored. <laughs> True. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Could yeah. be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Maybe I would remember if. Yeah. And if you haven't played it, I, I enjoyed the, the limited amount of time that I played because you, you get to, it takes place before the Harry Potter series does, mm -hmm. by a few years. You're in school with some of the people that you've seen who are a little Tonks bit grown up. and um, Bill Weasley. Yeah. And so, and you get to pick, the, the only thing I don't like and I do like is that you, you pick your house. Which? Mm. Like, you go through the sorting thing, it's like... Which house would you like to be in? Like Aww. Hufflepuff? Cool, you're in Hufflepuff. Way to go! You did it. <laughs> no, I'd like it if there was a little bit of test. Yeah, like there should. Like it should. You did like a quick like uh, answer of like a couple questions or, yeah. or something. Just but like then, with the, the yeah. whole Pottermore quiz. Yeah. On, you know. What if it, you didn't get the same results as the Pottermore quiz, where like it says for you you're a Hufflepuff, and then suddenly you're in the app and you get Slytherin, and you're just like this is wrong. No. Everything about this is wrong. Which I'm sure is why they did it, where you're like you yeah, just pick whatever. Or you at the for. same time, I could see from an RPG aspect, they very much want you to immerse yourself in the world, mm -hmm. and you know if if you grew up with Harry Potter like I did, you've probably imagined your experience at Hogwarts a million times, and so yeah. I could understand if you you know, had your heart set on being a Gryffindor and then you couldn't be one, it might take you out of the game for a minute. Yeah. Um, but then yeah. it but then it goes through and you're like learning about this this crazy mystery that's going on at the Hogwarts. I still and, don't have answers. And I mean, you're two. Are you? I am. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I am. I didn't get that far. Um, yeah, you get to learn spells, you learn, and you can, I guess, fly your broom and uh, you learn potions and... Uh, before uh, I lost internet on that particular phone, uh, I was having a good time. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, my only particular qualm with the game is it's very... It, it is so blatantly obvious that they want you to spend your money. Oh, yeah. Um, so the game, you have tasks, and there's not really any... In that's another thing. It's not really intuitive. A lot of your tasks are just performed by tapping, and every time you tap, you use an energy point. Yeah. And your bar, uh, uh, you can gain energy by doing various things, but I'm in year two now, and I think I have 27 energy points. Um, and it takes five minutes for a new energy point to reload. That's just one energy yeah. point. And you can get more energy points if you give them actual money. Yep. So if I spend Real my American actual dollars. physical American dollars on virtual non-existent shit. Yep. Um, if not, you can wait upwards of, you know... 20, 30 minutes to complete a task. Um, it also it's becomes more prevalent in year two. There's certain things you can't unlock 
unless you use gems, which is another thing that costs actual American dollars. We're like, oh yeah, we can you can move on from the story in three and a half hours, or you can you know just pay us like twenty bucks right now and do the yeah. story right away. So mm-hmm. it kind of takes you out of the experience a little bit because they've just mm-hmm. they've got too much going on that's trying to take your but money. But I kind of get right. that. I mean, they need to make their money, and uh, I've played many a dating sim app, <laughs> so I get that. They're like, oh, do you want to see a picture of you kissing this character? Give us money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I think it's a model that definitely works in a lot of respects. You know, like, you can play that game for free, but there's still some guy probably, you know, somewhere in the Midwest that just dropped 20 grand this year on that game, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, you know, I think is a, it's crazy how much more money they make just by pulling money off of, you know, those gotcha folks, those folks that can't help but put that money in. Because mm-hmm. you know, like twenty grand to drop on a gra- game seems crazy, but it happens like every it day. It does happen. Yeah. I actually read, I saw an article about that not too long ago about a guy who was spending like several thousands of dollars yeah. on on phone games. Seven thousand dollars. <laughs> Many thousands <Yeah>. of dollars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, and and I I have to wonder like where do these people get the money for this yeah. crap? Like, how do they validate it yeah. too? It must it must be amazing to have that sort of expendable income. I. I would hope it's expendable income. And drugs. Mm. Well, you wonder too is it maybe maybe is it just like any any other addiction like a gambling addiction like that guy who like puts himself in the hole maybe it's not somebody who has expendable income mm-hmm. maybe it's just some guy with a credit card yeah. who's like yeah I can get I Why can not? get like I get a couple more credit cards I really need to pull that so and so character we we got right. this oh gosh ooh Hufflepuff yeah we got this <laughs> <laughs> max it out <laughs> yeah. but I'm seeing that more and more now with with games on the phone is that you can like oh yeah you, you can play it for free all day. But you want to get uh, like a goal faster? Mm-hmm. Give us real money, yep. and it's and it's on virtually every game on the phone now, and it's even leaking into regular games now. Uh, That's true. I'm not as big a gamer as I used to be, but consoles I think are even feeling it. Mm-hmm. And there's certain games where I'm like, all right, you know, I I can justify spending like five ten bucks here because I like the game, I use your product a lot. Yeah, you know, hey, I'll kick in a little bit as a, a more of a donation than a. You know, let's right. get the cool thing. I mean, obviously, I want the cool thing, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, I, you know, I don't know. Is it is it that just games have become so much more expensive to make that we need to find that additional revenue stream to help boost it, or is it just hey, this is a more marketable route to go? I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And it, and it's something we've talked about before with like DLC and mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff. Is in that in my my opinion has always been. Um, you know, if you if you're gonna make me pay extra for something, mm-hmm. there better be something extra in yep. it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like I don't want to pay fifteen dollars to get like a new hat. Mm-hmm. Like I need a character. blowjob like, too. You know? Yeah, that's important to me. <laughs> <laughs> Deep down in my soul. Yeah. <laughs> like I know with with things like Skyrim and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you you can pay money to get that DLC, and you're gonna get some extra content. You're yeah. gonna get a lot. You know, several more hours, many more hours. Out of uh, <laughs> seven more hours, several, several, several many, yeah, <laughs> several many ish hours. <laughs> you know, it wasn't until I started dating Jackie that I realized how many times I say several, <laughs> several times a day. <laughs> Apparently, at least seven. I keep tallying. Yeah. <laughs> In her but. diary. Yeah. So, yeah. He well, said it again. He said it. Yeah. And like you said, though, you've got your Skyrim. Hey, you said out. it several times today. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say you've got your Skyrims that come out as a full and complete game, and mm-hmm. then add you your DLC later. But then yeah. now you've got a lot of games that come out as a half a game, and then sell you the rest of the game right. as you go. That's already yeah. on the disc. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing that really irritates me is like is is rollout DLC, mm-hmm. where it's like, yeah, here's the game. It's brand new. Also, you can go ahead and pay us some more money and get more stuff already. Yeah, we because know it's, it's already there. <laughs> we we didn't just, we didn't give you the yeah. whole game up front. Oh, and and that's what I've always found bit. to be really dirty. Like if, yeah. if if you're still working on the game, you know, a year, two, three years after yeah. you made it, awesome. But if you're if you're like here's some of the game. Oh, we'll wait. Yeah. You're gonna want more. You're gonna want more. Trust me. It's, we it's got a little you. bit more. Taste. <laughs> Screw you, man. That's not okay. God, I made it. But you wish you had the sweet gun. That's kind of uh. what the Wolf Among Us did. They um, mm-hmm. and it was probably the most aggravating. It's still the most aggravating thing. I waited to buy it all in one go, but they mm. would release a chapter, and then they'd be like, "All right, and in five months, pay ten dollars, you'll have another chapter." Yeah. But they weren't accurate in their deadlines, so you'd get real close, be like, "Oh, it's four and a half months," and they'd be like, "Oh, no, we're gonna push it back. Actually, it's yeah. not as great as we think it could be." 
five more months later. You have a very soft voice, and I need you to not whisper at the microphone. Okay. <laughs> or maybe just get closer. I was thinking you know? this could be an ASMR episode <laughs> now. Oh, uh, love yeah. that stuff, by the if way. If you're wearing ear earbuds, then uh, just a little whisper to you. Mm -hmm. It's going to come in your left ear. <laughs> just, just let you know we got I wonder it. if anyone's <laughs> done that yet. How funny would that be? An ASMR video game play? All right, and if you follow me here no. in these bushes... We're going to murk that guy. I couldn't. <laughs> Stealth <laughs> kill. <laughs> I don't think anybody just has to. Just by gently tap, tap, yeah, just tap, like tap, fall asleep tapping. playing the game. Gently <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Like, uh, a, like the knife slashes are still like, slice. 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 <laughs> well, it sounds like he's kind of had a catch. Headshot. <laughs> headshot. Pivot. Headshot. Pivot. <laughs> No, but what about the rage? That's my favorite part of watching <laughs> gameplays. But that's just... why it would be so funny, because you'd just be seeing these gruesome, violent deaths, but then you'd have somebody from, like, Goodnight Moon, which is one of my, like, one of my favorite ASMRists, um, just like, tap, 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 tap. Yeah, I think it would be pretty great to just listen to them silently rage, just be like, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I died. <laughs> I don't know. That's, uh, see, that's what you got to do now. You got to jump on a, uh, yeah. one of those like first-person shooters. Mm -hmm. Get your headset on. Oh, Maybe that's my claim to fame, guys. <laughs> I thought of it I'm first. Not you not heard not it not here not first. Patent pending. <laughs> Patent pending. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, see, I think it almost pays off as a gamer now just to wait. I mean, you're, they're eventually going to release the like full, complete package. Yeah. Like, commens commensary edition. That's one thing I loved about when they did, they would do uh, Game of the Year editions. Yeah. Where it, this is the game of the year, according to whatever company does that, and they'll have all the DLC in mm -hmm. it, and it's the same price as a regular game. Yeah. That's fantastic. You got it. You get everything. Yeah, love it. They did that with a couple of the Batman Arkham games. Mm -hmm. They did it with, I think, uh, was it Oblivion. Yeah, I think I've done it with Skyrim like four, maybe five times. Yeah, several times. So several many, <laughs> several many times. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. I got so excited for a second. You're like, actually yes. playing Skyrim in VR right now, right? Uh, absolutely. Actually, you know, I love it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not one of the folks who get really weird motion sick. Mm. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, it's gritty, but you know, I kind of expect it with a new technology type rollout. I think it was kind of quick, and it is definitely the same game. Yeah. But it's you experience it in such a different viewpoint that I've really enjoyed it. I actually couldn't stand doing like a sword and board like right. melee fight in the old one. But that's fine. Like that's probably the best thing really? I've ever experienced. Is like there's actual arrows whizzing past <laughs> your head, and then, you know you're you're actually like, oh god, yeah, oh god. Like I uh, had a bunch of spiders jump at me the other day. Of course you did. Oh, oh, yeah. Of course, that's <laughs> a staple because they did it right. <laughs> <laughs> Several mini spiders, I should say. Yeah. yeah. But um, so yeah, and but it Hashtag was it was actually kind of terrifying. Like their their arms are coming in from all directions. And right. It was it was definitely a worthwhile experience. I think if you do get motion sick, I wouldn't say you should at all try to try to mess with it. But if you mm. if you do, but hey, I wouldn't. I think it's an Ocul on the Oculus Rift now, which might actually be a better medium. Okay. Um, but I would definitely check it out. It's definitely worth it. I think they're even. Uh, I think they're even going to drop a Fallout now. Okay. Or they already did, maybe. I don't know. Which I, I do know. Like uh, I, I've said multiple times, like I, I really hate it when they when they re. Redo games like mm -hmm. Skyrim and stuff like that. We're like, mm -hmm. oh, we've remastered it. Did you change anything? We made it prettier. But yeah, but did yeah, you but add did, anything? Did you really do it? Well, it's prettier. Like, yeah. And I don't care. But for something like that where it's, you know, you can try it in VR, Yeah, I'd probably give it a chance. I don't know mm -hmm. if I'd want to pay the full price for it myself, yeah. uh, but I'd, I'd go to your place and play it or something. Exactly. That's what, <laughs> that's what kind of happened. I was at one of my brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Ran a couple of times and I was like, you know what? This is a completely different experience. Yeah. Um, this is worth trying to rerun some of those same stories over again. Actually, and I hadn't purchased any of the DLC, so it comes with yeah. all that stuff. Oh, cool. So that was like, okay, I hang on, I get all the DLC, I can go ahead and run through all that. Yeah. At the same time, hey, man, I'm, I'm like going to be running I'm, up on people. Yeah, I never played any of the DLC either. I didn't, I never even beat Skyrim. Yeah. Like, I was trying to do all the, okay. all the side stuff first. I met like so. maybe one person who has. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, Speaking of remastered games, sometimes. Like you said, it really irritates me. For instance, with Bioshock, which is my favorite game series ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and my biggest complaint with PlayStation is deal. still that they did yeah, not do cross-compatibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in previous years with a console, you could still play your like your PS1 games on your PS2 and your PS2 games on your PS3. Right. But with PS4, they did away with that. Mm -hmm. And so the only way you get to play these games now is if they actually made it for PlayStation right. 4. 
Like, I would love to go back and play the um, original Tomb Raider Origins game, but I can't because it was made for PS3, and to my knowledge, they have not made it for PS4. So when they did the Bioshock series on PS4, I was, like, so excited because, you know, it's my favorite game. I waited for it to go down in price to $19, so I can't really bitch and moan that much, mm. but it literally looks the exact same. I can't you tell a difference. You feel no difference whatsoever. I feel no difference in graphics or quality. Yeah. At all. Thank God I didn't pay the original $60 they right. wanted for it. And that's what really angered me about it. I already paid for all of those three games once. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I paid for them again. Promised. I was promised that I was going to get better quality. And, and I, well, like I said, I wasn't sure. So I went to a friend's house. I said, hey, can I just test this out? I brought my PS4 over, compared it to their PS3, loaded the game. Looked exactly the friggin' same. Exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. Oh, honey. Yeah. Oh, that face comes. I'm not bitter or anything. <laughs> the hand comes so close to my face every time you throw your hands up in the air. Exactly the same. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Several many. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well. But we're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. See, Shock I think that is great. I think that'd be a good VR game, like that nice creepy like. I know. Like, my gosh! That, oh, and you just have splicers things, like, coming at you left yeah. and right, fucking shit up. That's yeah. where I think that's where VR would would, would make so much money. In the horror with, genre. With the horror genre. And yeah. I know they I, did I it. I have to agree. It. They did it with Resident Evil Six, the newest one to come out. Six, mm -hmm. I think it was. And um Oh yes, they did. I watched yeah. a playthrough of that. How was right. it? It's the, scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um I think that's from, where it makes From the what most I understand that like the from from what I've seen of that game, it's not that scary of a game. Yeah. It's not like some of these other, like uh, like I've been playing Dead Space. Uh, or Dead Space Two, and Dead Space like they it's it's a third person game, yeah. and it still gets me with some of these jump scares and stuff. So like if you did that in a first person oh, VR yeah. setting, like mm -hmm. man, like I can see that being, being real creepy. Old school Silent Hills where it's just all yeah. misty, oh. and then it's all creepy, and or then it's even all misty. something and... more simplistic since it's a relatively new um, concept, like Five Nights at Freddy's. In yeah. VR. Oh God. <laughs> you don't, and you don't have to worry about the motion sickness as much with something like that. You're just you're just you're there, just sitting yeah. in the room. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, it it really is. You you really do get sucked in. You know, like and like I said, I was even kind of creepy with mm -hmm. the just the spiders in Skyrim. Mm -hmm. you, I'm sure everyone here is fight a sky, spider in Skyrim. Not that scary a thing. But, but I can when imagine, it's crawling, you know, like, it like a giant face. puppet coming out of a tube or tunnel or whatever the air yeah. vent that maybe yeah <laughs> done <laughs> in the vr game do you have to walk or is it just on the controller that you do so there's a couple different ways you can do it you can actually you can use your old controller mm -hmm. and just move around using the joysticks right. you, there's like a jump mode where you just kind of push a button and just jumps you around which mm -hmm. gets really weird and frustrating or you kind of you got the two sticks and you use one to move mm -hmm. and then you use one to kind of fight so that's weird. If you're doing like a two-handed thing, it's yeah. you're, you you kind of have to stop and fight. Okay. But if you're if you're like, if you're doing like a spell or like maybe you got a shield or something in this hand, it's a little easier. Okay. It's it's definitely it takes some getting used to because you're like all right, I want to walk left, I want to strafe. I'm just imagining gotcha. all the inappropriate things here. <laughs> well, I always end up like way across the room from where I started. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> like I'm always like all right, I'm just make sure I stay like right in yeah, front of the TV. That's how you and do. next thing I know, like. Almost in the kitchen. Right. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure um, Game Grumps, go look at their stuff, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but Game Grumps, they, I think they just do it with the controller. Yeah, it's actually the way you do it. Because they have the couch that they sit on. Hard right. to use. I tried out your VR, mm -hmm. and there was like this little office demo game. And it was oh, actually no. something like simple, like pick up this coffee and this donut, but it took me forever. Mm. <laughs> I was just struggle busting, like, duh, 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 where, where, fuck. <laughs> I poured coffee on myself. It was just a I mess. Just the computer was hands. yelling at me. Yeah. So I think we're a long way away from this actually being done with ease, or maybe it's just user error. I don't know. It probably takes some getting used to. I'm going to blame the game. Like, whatever yeah. you do. Um, and, and I bet it would take, like, it just just going from game to yeah. game, you have to get used to the controls. I imagine like going from game to game in a VR thing, you gotta get way used to that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they did do an episode of this, or like a little small kind of tidbit back to what we're talking about with a horror game type mm -hmm. scenario uh, in Black Mirror. Uh, please go watch that. It's oh, that was great. such a That's good episode. Did you see that one? Too. Yeah? I did. Yeah. I, I know did. you haven't seen it. We're seen watching that tonight. Okay. It's uh. Is that the one with the man? It's a, it's the one where he's being he's a game tester. Yep. And he gets, uh, yes. Yes. It's like they put an implant into the back of mm -hmm. his neck, mm -hmm. and that just makes every like his uh, mm -hmm. 
perception of things kind of changes. Like, so, uh, they started out with, like, a gopher on the table, and it's like, whack-a-mole. Like, okay. this is fun. So it's like an augmented yeah. reality kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Okay, that's So he's cool. actually in a house, yeah. and they make it into a sort of a haunted house. Gotcha. The house is real, but not all of the things yeah, what he's, he's seeing, seeing and experiencing. Okay. Which I think would be really cool going forward, too, to actually have things like that. Like, what's that big... Um, one that they do in, um, yeah, that's how I recall. It, it goes on in Georgia. It's um, oh the Netherworld. Oh, Netherworld, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How cool would it be to have something like that, like an augmented way, reality maze or an yeah, aug- oh my gosh. Actually, I know I've known several people Mind that work reels. that worked in Netherworld, and they would probably really hate that because because they they pride themselves on the makeup and prosthetics and everything that they do. But you could still have places. that but, yeah. and then add some effects too, you know, just That's to true. further like enhance and just, build upon this world. Yeah. You could just add the spiders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the giant spiders going on. Several many giant you, spiders. I just, I just want one, either one zombie movie or one zombie video game to give me a zombie spider. That's yeah. all I want. I want a unicorn spider. That's what I want. Woo. Like, like we've got horses, we've got whales. I think we need spiders. Maybe it, it's what, was the, what was the one you said earlier? Unikitty. Unikitty, yeah, like some unikitties. <laughs> or catacorn, let's, you know. Let's no. Mix it up. Mix it it up. sounds more like Capricorn. <laughs> it just doesn't work. <laughs> I just, you know, instead of spewing webs, it spews like rainbow webs. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Or cotton candy. And cotton candy, yeah. yeah. You get stuck in the cotton. You're, you're like, oh, this is you're like, oh, oh man, I mean, it's going to kill me, but it's really magical the way it's doing it. <laughs> I, I just want the kawaii this. eyes with the <laughs> just big cute eyes on the spider too. Yeah. Like that, oh, what is his it's name? Like little, like, it's got like nine of them. It's got like nine of them. His name's Lucas the spider. Lucas the spider. Yeah. Like just, he's so cute. The cute little CGI spider. I love yes, him. Yeah. I sent that uh, video of little Lucas the spider to a friend of mine that hates spiders. Still did not like spiders Ooh. after watching it. That was free, <laughs> wasn't it? That- freaked out about it no that's a friend of mine named michael you oh. don't know him there's also brie remember you posted one on facebook and brie oh, was like yeah, this she... is absolutely terrifying and adorable all at once <laughs> yeah it's cute yeah yeah there's nothing better than watching a grown man get scared of a spider <laughs> especially one that's cgi <laughs> yeah and adorable uh, i've been thinking about the week i've had and it's been rough do you tell, tell us so, about it uh, the three of us all live in this house, mm-hmm. and we actually don't know this guy. We just we right. saw him on the street, and we thought he has potential. I saying. liked his green shirt. Yeah, like, hey, but he's kind of like a leprechaun. Red we've, hair, we've had like shirt. a, oh a crazy yeah. amount of rain. <laughs> mm-hmm. We have in the in the past week, and uh, the roof in this house leaks directly into my bedroom. Onto <laughs> so, our bed. Seems yeah. legit. <laughs> oh no! So is that? And yeah, then yeah. like. And, like, the first night, it was, like, okay. And, and it's, it's had leaky issues. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's been, you know, drops. Yeah. And then it's, like, suddenly it's, like, a lot more drops. And then the door drops over here. And then at one point, it was just, like, this stream of water just coming from the ceiling yeah, <laughs> into like the trash of, can that I put underneath. Part of the ceiling actually fell. Like, yeah. That's oh, that's how, yes. Yeah. Like, gallons of like water the wrong direction were collected quick. in my room. Like, that's how, like, so much water. And then... Uh, I I hit there. There's uh, over by the where the Chick Fil A and okay. the Five Guys are. Yeah. Uh, right between them is this giant enormous pothole, which you can't see at night when it's when it's been monsooning. Seems legit. And so I slammed into that thing, and like bent my my rim on my car, and then um, what else? Oh, I like I was trying to do that. some editing today, and that was fucking like it's just been a I th- week. I think editing is just like a thing in itself. <laughs> it, is. Yeah. it really is. <laughs> Speaking of the roof, uh, we had somebody come by and look at it today, yeah. and uh, as they're in the house, no, as they're leaving, finally done, they're telling me the mm-hmm. final details. They're like, "Do this, this, and this." They hand me the card. I give them a handshake, and as he's leaning in to open the door. I think he's going in for a hug. So I'm about to hug this man <laughs> who does not know me. And then I see, I see the hand go to the knob of the door and I'm like, oh, okay, that's not what's happening. I'm just, hey, <laughs> you have a good day. <laughs> Please tell me he was putting in a water slide. Uh, like you're just, you're like, oh, we're not going to patch it. We're just going to slide down. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, we could run that by... Our uh, Jarrett. Yeah. Our Jarrett. Our Jarrett. Our Jarrett. He's like a pet. <laughs> we feed him. We walk him. No. I don't think it's going to work out. Oh. And then, 
Oh, it was. I, I wanted to kind of bring up a new segment. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's going to be a thing that we're going to do every time, but it's Asshole of the Week. Oh, nice. And the great thing is, I have two of them in one week. Nice. Can I contribute? Absolutely. I am so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. First, first one is, uh, last weekend, Jackie and I were on our way to Exodoon, which is the LARP that we do, um, which I've now got Jackie doing, which is awesome. Um, so we're, we're pull we pulled off of the highway onto this exit to go to get some gas. Mm -hmm. And as we, you know, you cross over the overpass, there's a red light. We wait for the red light. People yeah. are coming up off the, from the other way and turning onto the road we're turning on and it's backed up. We're like, well, that sucks. And then our light turns green. Mm -hmm. I move up and this guy in this truck next to me is just like, nah, man, that's my spot. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like. That spot doesn't no, exist. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no. And he basically, like, he comes within inches of my vehicle mm. and just being all shitty. Yeah. And meanwhile, I'm on the phone with my mom, who is a very nice Christian lady. And uh, and Jackie, Jackie goes, what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I might want to mention that I've never met his mother before. So that, that, point, that, was, yeah. that was her first impression of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, Jackie met my mom, like, later in the weekend. And like, uh, like and I don't know if mom, I don't know if mom heard it like she was on speakerphone through the Bluetooth yeah. in my car but I don't know what she heard. And, I mean, uh, she but. was really nice to me. I walked by, she like grabbed my hand and held it for a second and gave me a look, and I yeah. was just like, I know. And yeah. then we parted ways. Yeah, Jackie and I both had like big moments this week where we met each other's families at like like days apart. That's, see, that's that's um, really intense. I mean, yeah, we crammed all of it in one weekend. See, like I like to I like to separate mine out because I've got two houses. Yeah. Right, yeah. so like you meet one, we meet one family, and mm. then like if if you make it past that one, then like you level up. <laughs> like jumping in the middle. <laughs> yeah. It's intense. Not only did he meet my family, he also met like extended family, like my grandparents. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And, like and one I big got, bang, like I a got whole, kiss on the cheek from, from grandma. Once. Yeah, that yeah. was good. One. Yeah, grandpa didn't say anything because. He was shy, and he only really speaks Spanish. So. Yeah, he did tell me that I I have a place to stay if I ever want to go down to Orlando. So that's cool. Yeah, let's go <laughs> Disney World. Baby. Disney yeah. World. That's like winning me. Actually, the live family, like right, right there. Disney World. He, he said that they do not have free tickets to Disney World, but but <laughs> have free place to stay. But he's like, I know where the hole in the fence is. <laughs> so <laughs> let's do it. So yeah, that dude in the truck was the first asshole of the week. The other one happened a couple days ago. I went to the dentist uh, to get this tooth worked on. Uh, that I'm eventually just going to pull. Um, on the way back, yeah. I'm driving down the road. I see something on, like in the road. I'm like, what's that? And as I'm passing, I notice it's a turtle. And it's this like big, oh, turtles, flat, it's soft a... shell turtle. Yeah. And it oh, like has you know, long <laughs> face and everything. And so I yeah, pull off. Turtle. I pull off because I'm like, I got to help this turtle get across the road. And I pull off in this like circular driveway. And then I have to wait for people to go by. And then the guy in the front... Hit the fucking turtle, and mm. not and not like, oh no, I hit a turtle. It was, it was like, I'm gonna hit that fucking turtle. Get, the, get out of here. Did it on purpose. And I'm smiling not because I think that's funny, just because I like this reaction over here. Like, yeah. those are my people. Like, <laughs> and, those are, and that guy can die screaming <laughs> in a fire. The oh, world would be better off just, without that man. I want yeah. him to die in the truck that he committed this atro yeah. atrocity in. I want the ninja turtles to show up and set him on fire. I have Ninja Turtles. You deserve like some of like the Koopas from like Mario, whatever those bird little, no, little Koopa Turtle Troopas? things. Yeah, yeah the Koopa Troopas. Troopas yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't think he, I don't think he registers yeah. Ninja Turtle level. Not even That's just the Koopa like, Troopas. Yeah. The stone Koopa Troopas, the ones that like you knock down and they're like, yeah, and they yeah. come back. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering. I was like, I wonder if that was the Shredder. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's just like. He went back in time. Yeah. He was like, I can stop it before it starts. Right. <laughs> he, he just has a thing for all turtles now. Like, but it, like, it really, it really upset me. Yeah. yeah. Because I was That's like, I'm going violence. to help this turtle, mm -hmm. and that guy ruined the shit out of that. Yeah. Just, was, just completely threw that out the window. Yeah. I kind like, of like yeah. that idea though about Shredder just hating all turtles. Yeah. Like he just walks by a pet store and there's turtles in the window, and he's just like, "Fuck." Yeah. <laughs> Coming back when this place is closed. <laughs> Watch out, could you? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, you got an asshole of the week? Like walks around popping I like... I do have an asshole of the week. <laughs> so I'm really I, I am a server in the restaurant business, so I have assholes of the day, let's yeah. be yeah. honest. Especially where we work. Um, but this one was a specifically... It was like a, an in disguise, like an undercover asshole. <laughs> Like a sneaky butthole. Like, I didn't realize it was coming. Like, like there was a guy, sensor bar at first, and yeah. then they 
It this guy was the work. silent <laughs> fart of the assholes because I didn't see it coming. So I'm serving this table. Um, it's this has like this married couple and their their parents. Mm. One of like someone's in laws, you know, mom, dad, whatever. Yeah. And they're so nice. Specifically, the older man. He's like so sweet. And I go over to the table and everything's fine. Everything's good. Um, they ask to speak to a manager. They give like the manager an excellent compliment. They're like applauding me and I'm like, Hey, this is good. This is good. Cause I was kind of on thin ice that day. So like a manager compliment really helped. Yeah. Um, and everything's going fine. And then, um, so, you know, I'm asking if they need anything else and the gentleman pulls out the tip and he's like, actually, yeah, uh, I was going to ask you to sit on my lap, but I thought it might make all the other people here uncomfortable. That makes everybody in the world com- uncomfortable. <laughs> but it was I the guess. way he, like, said it, like, oh, what about me? Yeah. Did you, did you? No, we're not real people. We're just servers. Yeah. So I, I, I laughed it off in the moment and I was like, <laughs> that's not a service we provide. But I never said anything to anyone, which kind of makes me the asshole of the week, too, because I thought about it later and I shouldn't have tolerated it, you know, Uh, at no point. Um, But it was such an uncomfortable moment for me because he was handing me money and I just had this, you know, huge compliment from the table and I just didn't know how to proceed. I was also shit slammed and I had all these things to do. But after taking a step back, I thought about it and I was like, wow. You know, I I really should have said something. I shouldn't tolerate that behavior. And I went to management, and to their credit, they said the exact same thing. In fact, one of our managers is, like, a huge feminist, and she was like, where is he? Yeah. (laughs) Wait, what you should start doing to deal with people like this, and I'm trying to start doing it myself, is overreact back. Like, he gives you the money... And you just sniff it or something. (laughs) (laughs) Scare everybody at the table. Just creep. (laughs) Just like... (laughs) (laughs) just walk away and then they're done or just take it to a whole new level and be like oh yeah i would love to sit on your lap let me tell you and just like describe in gory detail the things i would would do to him i wouldn't go in front of his wife i don't know maybe drop it down that's too far are you uncomfortable did you feel uncomfortable or threatened at all by my statements similar to how i felt i just don't want to i don't want to have to talk to them i just want my subtle Things to make them uncomfortable, and I have started trying to do that. Just like, just start bit. picking your butt or something, like <laughs> just something, like, just something gross or weird, like. But like, it was just, yeah. Yeah. especially. <laughs> I think <laughs> guests when they do things like that, especially when people hit on you in such an uncomfortable, blatant way, because I'm not in a position where I can, you know, reject you in the fashion that I would like to. Right. Yep. I mean, so, they got drinks yeah. on the table. You can throw it in their face. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't think just anybody accidentally bump around. into them. Hmm. Or what I do, I act like if I don't like a table, I'll fill the glass just enough, like just too much, you know. Like I've done ice that. is about to come off, where it's like literally seeping in puddles, and then I don't offer to get you napkins. <laughs> I've done that one. I'll just and then I'll put it down, but I'll put it down roughly so you know something's splashing. Like, yeah. oh, love it. I used to crop dust tables. I didn't. I like. do that. Yeah, same. Yeah, I do the very Even same. as a manager, I think that's all. <laughs> all restaurant employees. If you're an asshole, if yeah. you if you're like sitting at your table, you're like, oh god. You were probably an asshole yeah. to the server. It, yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't the person sitting across from you. No, it was you guys are assholes. I've yeah. actually become known at our restaurant. Jackie knows this for being able to get rid of tables. Those campers, people yeah. request my services because I'm so good at popping up and just making people uncomfortable. And it's I, yeah, I love it. Real it's just a it's really strange <laughs> skill of mine. And That's the funny how... one was the other day we had our coworker Lisa come up, and she was getting frustrated. She'd had a table there for you know a while, and yeah. she was already cut. And she comes up to me and she goes, hey, Kate, I need you to get rid of this table. And I kid you not, as soon as she said it, they got up. Almost like they <laughs> knew that my presence was coming. They're like, oh, she's going to hand us money and ask us to sit on her lap. And I was <laughs> thinking so about it. And I said, we should start charging for this service. Like, right. yeah, you got $2? Here. Ooh, I should start doing that for birthdays. Because everybody hates singing for birthdays except me. Because I know that's the one time as a server I'm allowed to make you feel as uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> I will sing yes, the, as I, loud as possible. I never wanted to sing when I was, when I was serving. And, and now, like, Jackie tells me stories. I'm like, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I made, yeah. Someone, I made, yeah. I made someone's kid cry one time. It was pretty great. <laughs> I was there. Oh, man, that's fantastic. Yeah. Speaking of what you were saying, like Jason actually used to be the one when we worked yeah. together uh, that good. would that could get people out of there if they've been mm-hmm. sitting around too long and taking up tables. Oh, I can see that and, with Jason. That mm-hmm. He would just he it wouldn't he wouldn't really say anything. He would just like he would start taking yeah. things off the table one at a time <laughs> while making direct eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> like, Is there anything else I can get you? 
A to-go box? See, that's what a I mean. A to-go drink? Yep. That's, a bag? That's what I do. <laughs> See, and just then, taking just things without looking at the face. Just clear. Look at your eyes. And sometimes I release, like, awkward personal information about myself that they just, you know, would never want to know. Yeah. Like, one well, time I had a table that wouldn't leave, and they were like, oh, you know. And my aunt had passed away earlier that week. It's mm. not okay to use that, probably, but, you know, I figure she'd understand. And they were like... <laughs> It was my table, and I was, she they were knows. like, so how's your life going? I was like, well, my aunt died earlier this week, so that happened. And they were just like, oh. <laughs> Remember, oh, which, there, there was a table, though. Sorry, there. Aunt Pauline, and thank you. You're doing us a service, mm. even in the afterlife. We love you. Okay, She's a good lady. looking directly in the camera at Aunt Pauline. Yeah. <laughs> You, they, they got internet there, I'm sure. <laughs> Better I mean, than if, ours. If Kevin doesn't have Wi-Fi, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, why? Well, I, I don't want to go. <laughs> Just leave me down here with my Netflix. I like, has anyone ever seen, I think it was on Family Guy, it's like that clip of like the, that's really racist. The, it's like that, because it's Family Guy. Um, it's like All the, right, Family Guy is not racist. Talking Box is not think Family Guy is racist. Continue. No, <laughs> we're also not racist. Okay. It's, a, it's a little bit. It's that, um, it's a joke about 9-11, and it's the people who, the terrorists, they were promised the 42 versions, and then right. they get up into heaven, and it's all these, like, gaming nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, I mean... Anyway, I'm dating one of those gaming nerds. I'm one of those gaming nerds. Yeah, I'm like most of the people at this table. So obviously, the the stereotype (laughs) isn't intact. (laughs) There (laughs) are gamers. Don't. I don't know. I think there are the neckbeards. It's like deeper, deeper. Well, no, the seedy underbelly of the gaming world. I I feel like you can have the hair here. It's the smell. If you have the smell, smell, then you're going to. Or if you, uh. If you go to, like, conventions and stuff and you sit down and I can see your crack, like... <laughs> if you live in your mom's basement and you never moved out ever. If... Ever. There's, like, a combined... This. It's not just one thing. It's yeah. a lot of things that you have to be doing to earn yeah. that title. It's not just one. Yeah. We're all well-groomed. I think I think it's just when you reach, a, like, a level yes, of ma'am. nerd <laughs> or gamer that, like, you look down on other nerds and gamers because they're not as deep into it as you like i think that's when you get neckbeard status like, yeah t- for me yeah like you're like oh you don't really love star wars now, unless you can recite every one of the cast members and stunt i like how i like how kate goes <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i've seen kate do that <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> you 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 got put on that kind of haughty thing and be like you're not like a real fan kind of thing about certain things about certain things. Oh, you might yeah. be a neckbeard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, see it? There it is. <laughs> I will admit to being that way about music specifically. Like, this is a thing that really, really bothers me. I don't know why it became trendy, but a few years ago it became, and it was in Seventeen magazine, I remember very specifically, um, they were like, go for that rocker chick look, um, buy a vintage tee for a band. And so all these basic girls started buying, like, for specifically, like, it was, like, Beatles mm-hmm. t-shirts, Led Rolling Zeppelin Stones. t-shirts, Rolling yeah. Stones, and they had no fucking idea. Yeah. So I'd be like, oh, yeah, you like the Beatles? And they'd be like, what? I'd be like, you know, the you shirt you're wearing. Shirt? <laughs> or I'd be like, you like a hard day's night? And like, what? And you could just see, like, you could almost visibly, like, audibly hear their brain cells rubbing against each other, struggling to form a thought. And you're like, the Beatles! <laughs> a hard day's night! It's like, been I, a I hard would even... day's night! And they're just, no, I, I just got even this at Goodwill. Even if they had the shirt, I would, I would still feel like, even if they knew, like, Yellow Submarine yeah. or something, I would still be like, okay, you know. Throw out just Passable. like, yeah, yeah. please, yeah. please, please. That is something that I get heated about. So, yeah, I guess in some ways. I've like seen that. you do it with Harry Potter. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Can't, can't wait for that coming up. Mm. Wait, when have I done? Did I do a Harry Potter? You have. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I already know it's coming with the Captain, Captain Marvel oh, movie in here. Like, yeah. I already know. I already know it's, your level of love for Captain Marvel. It's the bittersweet <laughs> thing that I've accepted with Captain Marvel. She's my favorite superhero, but it's been kind of... There's a bittersweet element to it. On the one hand, when her movie comes out, there'll be more Captain Marvel merchandise, which mm-hmm. is what I really want, because it's so hard to find. But at the same time, similar to how all fangirls claim that Wonder Woman's her favorite superhero just because, you know, she's a female, and yeah. without really knowing anything about it, I'm afraid that's going to happen to Danvers, and I just don't want her to be reduced <coughs> or watered down to, you just, know... Just that. Oh, she's blonde and she's cute, and now she's my favorite superhero. Just going to move my hand. 
<laughs> it keeps on. Going. It has a mind of its own. It's the claw. I don't know. The claw. The claw. Oh my god! From uh, Toy Story. The claw. The claw. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna stop now. What? No, I like how adamant you are about everything. All right. So, <laughs> Just... so quick, give us a Danvers rundown. Oh yeah. And Tell then, us what we then need they can to say know. you. You know, you could have heard it first on Talkie Box before I the think, before the movie. Have we actually already done that? I don't know. I think okay. So, I don't watch the show. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I just make it. <laughs> so Carol Danvers is part human and she's part Cree. She originally appeared in the comics. I want to say the late sixties or the seventies as Colonel Danvers. Mm-hmm. Um, she's gone through several different. What's the word I'm looking for? Idi- seven. It, 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 <laughs> it, she's it, only done seven. Things. Several different versions. She's been um, iterations. Iterations yeah. of herself. She's been Colonel Danvers. She's been um, Miss Marvel. Uh, she went through a weird phase after Rogue absorbed her powers where she became binary. Mm. And it was like a weird rape thing. but um, And then she eventually took over the Captain Marvel mantle, um, which people have mixed feelings about. Um, and I kind of... Actually, after reading that article, had mixed feelings about. And, um, yeah, so now she's Captain Marvel. And that became a thing relatively recently. I want to say 2011, mm-hmm. 2012, when I want to say her name is Mixed Karen Sue DeConnick took over her arc and started writing. Um, mixed feelings about which part? I, I'm sorry. Uh, her name. So they changed it to Captain Marvel as um, sort of an appeal to the modern woman and feminism. Not realizing that Miss Marvel kind of already did that. So the intention behind Miss Marvel, MS Marvel, is that Miss Marvel does not tie you to a man. It's completely devoid of um, relationship status. Mm -hmm. It was a very feminist word when it came out because it was like, you know, I'm not relying on my relationship status to define me or my accomplishments. Mm -hmm. Um, And when they changed her name to Captain Marvel, it was a power move. However, that kind of... She'll always forever be in the actual Captain Marvel's shadow now. She was always going to be connected to him, but now she's forever under his shadow. Hmm. So it kind of takes away from the original empowerment message that they were going for, which I guess has actually upset a few fans and pulled them away from or, liking Captain or Marvel. Or is it more or less like that she outstrips him? Like maybe it's the opposite. Maybe, maybe she surpasses him. I personally... In that, in that respect. I, I like both ideas. I yeah. kind of see the merit to both of them, although I've always known her as... Captain Marvel, because that's when I started. That was actually the very first comic I ever read. Mm -hmm. And I was with Brander, and he was comic book shopping, and I was just derping around doing what I do. And I happened to pick up, I think, the second issue where she's just covered in a pile of cats. And I was like, that's my lady. (laughs) Like, that's that's cool as shit. And so that's how I became a Captain Marvel fan. Pretty cool. Um, Mm. But her breakdown on her power, she um, has cosmic... Powers super senses like she has cosmic awareness so it's like spidey senses on steroids um so like if something enters the atmosphere of the planet if something super threatening like thanos enters the atmosphere hypothetically wherever captain marvel is in the universe Mm. she could pick up on that and be aware of it it'd have to be something super powerful like thanos thanos so like not just i think he's already aware like <laughs> zombie spiders. Yeah, it couldn't just be like a fart. <laughs> um, like where are you going with this though? <laughs> it would have to be something pretty big. Um, she has super strength mm. on probably almost like a Hulk type level. Um, and she has the ability to absorb energy and then expel it outwards. I know what you mean. So. With the, the hands going near the face. That's what I'm, I'm telling you. If you lean in, just a little too much. Just gonna say, I was actually just going to say, aim that way. Like, spell <laughs> outwards. Um, she's really very cool. Now the mic's getting out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not the mic. Fine. There's it's nowhere that you can outwards. go. <laughs> just go up. Well, it does bring us to pretty much the end of the show. Uh, and we typically end the show with, what did you learn today? You know... Captain Marvel could probably take out a zombie spider. No. Yeah. But I don't think she could take out a unicorn spider. <laughs> okay. That's what I got. Jackie? 
I learned maybe not everybody wants a hug when they lean into you. Maybe sometimes they're just opening a door <laughs> and you need to just move. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that was going to be what I learned today. Oh. <laughs> Come back to me. Uh, let's see. I learned that I kind of actually want to check out Skyrim on VR. God, um, I which it, uh, I, I really it didn't before, but now I kind of do. Yeah. And what about you? I learned that Dave is a friend to turtle kind and nature. I try to be. And Which, that he will pull sure. off of the side of the road to help a turtle find its way home mm. if he was just allowed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That asshole. Mm. Ah. Anyway. Uh, that's pretty much the end of the show for today. Um, if you'd like to be a, you know, check out uh, being a patron uh, of the show, you can go to patreon.com slash uh, Give us a little bit of money. We'll give you some cool stuff. Don't ask us to uh, sit on your lap. I That's might. Not how I don't know. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, discuss that privately. <laughs> what do you look like? <laughs> discuss it privately. <laughs> and hey, if you've had an uh, interaction with an asshole this week, tell us about it in the comments on the on this video. We would love to hear it. Let's asshole. vote on the biggest asshole. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Hashtag biggest asshole. Hashtag asshole of the week. Hashtag undercover asshole. Yeah. Hashtag several many. There you go. <laughs> several many. Uh, anything else? Nope. Nope. Good night. Good night, everybody.